Hi, and welcome to the final session in our Proverbs Home Group series. I hope you had a really good time unpacking uh, various Proverbs, and I hope that it's a practice that you would actually continue doing for the rest of your life. I, I've really enjoyed um, at various points in my life opening up the book of Proverbs and just allowing it to speak um, into my life. Right now, we are going to be getting to the final chapter of the book of Proverbs. It's the end of the book of Proverbs. It summarizes everything. Um, and I love what the author of Proverbs has done with this final chapter. Because sometimes, as you're exploring wisdom, you, it can kind of feel like you're building a house with no road map that you don't actually know what the final picture of the house is like. And so um, Proverbs 31, the, right at the end of the book of Proverbs, uh, the author really tries to give a final picture of what wisdom could look like if she was embodied. What is it that wisdom does? What does it look like? If you're gonna have wisdom in your life, what are the elements of it? What are the qualities of wisdom? Right? So that as you're building these building blocks in your life, you can go, yeah, 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 I'm heading closer to the target. Or no, 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 I'm moving further and further away. You know, if you, if you don't know what you're shooting for, it's very hard to take steps forward. And so Proverbs 31 paints this picture of lady wisdom. And I, and I know it could be many interpretations around, but my favorite is that it is an embodiment of um, it is an embodiment of what wisdom represents. And she's portrayed um, like a great wife, like, um, like an amazing spouse, because it's somebody that you marry. Wisdom is somebody that you commit to live your life side by side with. She's your partner in life. She will guide you, she'll be diligent, she'll bear good fruit, right? Uh, but it requires commitment. You, you almost have to change um, your your status from being single and just doing the things that you want in life to being a couple where you're tied together with this spouse of wisdom who will then um, basically navigate all of life together with you. It requires a lot of commitment. It requires um, a, not, a lot of love and dedication, right? But at the same time, yields this great, amazing fruit. And, and it, of course, it could be used to describe uh, a godly woman definitely could be that, uh, um, but it could also be used to, to describe what it's like to embody wisdom in your own life. And so as you unpack this final uh, chapter, I'm hoping that your home group would get glimpses of what it would be to um, live out a life of wisdom or to be married, I guess, to wisdom. Uh, what does that look like, right? Um, because if some of the things that will come out is that wisdom is trustworthy. You can trust wisdom. Wisdom is diligent, right? It promotes diligence and hardworkingness in your life. Wisdom is generous, right? And, and, and the wiser you get, the more you grow in wisdom, the more generous you become. And she, it also says that wisdom herself is a generous person partner that means as you as you join with wisdom my goodness you know she will be generous to you and, and the, the fruit that comes from a life lived with wisdom is plentiful and so I hope that that's what you will get out of today's discussion and out of your future lifelong journey with wisdom um, thanks to the book of Proverbs God bless